Welcome, and thank you for joining me as we read scripture and take in the Word of God together. We will read the chapters straight through, and if God gives me any revelation or insight, that will be included at the very end, if at all. I'm using my printed Bible, so it might not exactly match what's on the screen. With that, let's pray and get to today's reading. I will be praying in part from Isaiah 35. The desert and parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. It will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Lord, we praise you for who you are. Help us to see you. Help us to see what you want us to see in the text today. Just ask that you would bless us, open our eyes, and, and thank you for the work that you will do in our hearts today. We will be reading Genesis 9. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on the fish of the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, now I give you everything. But you must not eat meat that has its lifeblood still in it. And for your lifeblood I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal, and from each human being too. I will demand an accounting for the life of another human being. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made man. And for you, be fruitful and increase in number. Multiply on the earth and increase upon it. Then God said to Noah and his sons with him, Now I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, all the wild animals, and all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is a sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds. It will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. When the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on earth. The sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These were the three sons of Noah. From them came the people who were scattered over the whole earth. Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant a vineyard. When he drank some of its wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father's nakedness and told his brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it across their shoulders, and then they walked in backwards and covered their father's nakedness. Their faces were turned the other way so they could not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and found out what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, the lowest of slaves will he be to his brothers. He also said, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Shem. May Canaan be the slave of Shem. May God extend Japheth's territory. May Japheth live in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be the slave of Japheth. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. Noah lived a total of 950 years, and then he died. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for making your word so available to us, and I thank you for your nearness. I thank you that you do not leave us to you know, try to like figure things out on our own. You make things so abundantly clear. Lord, I just pray that you would give us revelation, help us to understand that I pray that 
You would not allow the enemy to confuse or distort or deceive in any way. Just pray that you would give clarity of mind and a softness of heart and an opening of our minds so that we can know with confidence um, what you want us to, to see and to learn from this text. Thank you for who you are. You are our good father. Your promises are true. I thank you that we can look to you for all instruction and that you just work all things um, for the good of your people, for the good of your plan. Um, just help us to be vessels of that as we go about our day today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you have an amazing day.